Hi Sagges, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is your September 2017 reading. I'm going to start out with your finance and career energies by use of the Wisdom of the House of Night deck by PC Cast and Colette Baron Reed. I'm going to combine this deck with the Rider Waite deck for further clarification as we go through each step of the cross before us. So dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign and or rising sign of Sagittarius with uh, please provide us with information regarding Sagittarius's career and financial energies now through the month of September 2017. Thank you. Ooh All right, so the card starting off with is representing your current life path here on earth at this time is individuality. This is about applying your individuality to the task at hand. How can you apply who you are to what it is you are doing and make it be more successful? The card crossing the individuality card is the Grove card. So this is about going into your woods, into and sitting on the couch in the woods with your cat and your blanket and thinking through how you can apply your individuality to what it is you are doing for a living. For some of you, I'm also feeling like there is some sort of talent or hobby that you do where that is very individual to who you are. Are, and it could be a good time to think about maybe working on that hobby and seeing if you could maybe even manifest a small profit from what it is you enjoy doing. Now, in your thoughts position, you have vision. So at this time, it's important to create a vision of what it is you'd like to do for a living, how it is you can apply your individuality to making it your income better. In your foundation, there is a situation or a path that is forbidden. Spirit has put a solid concrete door in front of a uh, wall in front of this door, trying to tell you that that is not the right direction. So I'm going to clarify here with the Rider Waite deck next. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Sagittarius with clearly defined messages regarding Sagittarius's. Uh, career and finance energies for the month of September 2017. Thank you. All right, so it is through your individuality that you have come this far. The Hierophant to me is speaking of some sort of celebration and or acknowledgement of your individuality. Either someone around you is acknowledging what it is you have or can do, or you're acknowledging that, hey, there is something I can do, and what can I do with that individual talent? All right, so the card crossing your individuality card is the Grove. This is going in and figuring out exactly what it is you want to do and where it is you want to go when it comes to career and finances. Some of you are just going to have an idea pop in your head after much thought and or recognition for something someone notices and you're going to be like, that's what I want to do. Now I'm going to plan a vision and that's what Spirit's asking for you to do. Think about how far you have come in your life path already when it comes to career and finances and how you can use this final sword of your four swords available. When it comes to a vision, do you wanna stay on the path you're on, applying your individuality, which is definitely being recognized and acknowledged, or do you want to cut away from that path and do something that you know could be profitable that involves a talent or hobby? Well, there's definitely something that you're going to find out about and it could be, hmm, it could be advancement. Some of you have been waiting on advancement because you've received acknowledgement and you're not advancing, therefore you're contemplating going in a different direction or doing something different. In the recent past, there was the reminder card of a tombstone that says, don't forget. Don't forget as you connect out with others and receive messages back where you've been, what you've gone through, and where it is you want to go. You've learned a lot up to this point about, I feel, working with others and how to get a good read on whether or not you can believe in what someone is telling you when it comes to moving forward in your path. 
in the next couple few weeks know that you have the energies of the warrior angel so you are standing strong in your ability to communicate fairness and equality i think some of you've got nothing to lose some of you need to just say to a higher up or to yourself this is what i want and this is what i'm not getting I need to make sure that I get what I want. I'm going to have that conversation. And if this path doesn't work out, fine. I'll move on to another path. I know that I will survive. In the next four to six weeks, you have control over love. Opening your heart, open, opening your heart to all circumstances, offers, or opportunities. Even though people in the past didn't stand by you, didn't support you, didn't provide what they said they would, it has made you a stronger person. So let the memories of each of these painful situations be replaced with love. Because those experiences were meant to make you a stronger person. They were meant to teach you more about who you are and what you can truly accomplish. Spirit is warning you of some sort of chaos. Therefore, I think they're preparing you with the Four of Swords in a vision to think about if things didn't work out in a conversation or connection, then you need to have kind of a backup plan. So open your heart to your individuality, to another talent, to another option or opportunity or idea. Yes, you are not stuck, but you're feeling stuck. Maybe some of you are really, really busy and you're feeling stuck in a situation where you're busy but you're not getting the pay that you're worth. And you're willing to move on and open your heart to different opportunities, so why not have the discussion? Know that you have the warrior energies to go in and be willing to deal with the chaos that comes from saying, I feel stuck. I was promised this much money. I've worked this hard and I'm not getting what I'm worth. I'm willing because of where I've been and how far I've come to just walk away if you can't give me what I'm worth. In your hopes and fears, you may be fearing this guidance because it may seem complicated. It may feel like, well, I'm stuck here because this, this, and this reason. Therefore, I may have the warrior energies to go and have this discussion, but if I fail, I'm still stuck. That's not true. No matter how old you are, no matter how far you've come, no matter whether or not you've figured out what special trade or hobby you have, you are never stuck. There is always another path you can choose. See? Complicated. Fearing that a situation is complicated, hoping for fulfillment, contentment, and abundance. As long as you continue to go after what you want, spirit is going to bring it in your direction. Make sure you meditate and pray on what it is that you want. Look at the outcome position has to do with hope. Hope is like that moon to me. Without that moon, it would be pitch dark. There would be no hope. But the moon lights the path and provides direction. There will be another offer. So continue to hope that a new offer is going to come in no matter what. Whether it's an offer where you're at or whether it's an offer where you're going, whether it's an offer after you've had to leave or if you have to leave. If you have this conversation and it doesn't turn out, have hope that a new offer is going to come in. Worst case scenario, you get fired for Standing your ground and saying, I'm not going to put up with it. I'm not going to work unless you give me this raise. I'm going to walk out. Well, not walk out, but uh, you'll receive unemployment in the meantime. And, and then maybe can work on what your talent or hobby is. The card overlooking the entire read is playfulness. Spirit wants you to look at the situation in a playful manner. Even though it sounds painful, it's all in how you look at it and how you enjoy life. If you enjoy life, no matter how humans are behaving and know that you'll make it no matter what with these warrior energies, you can just be playful with your own life and listen slowly and softly to your intuition and it will guide you towards this new offer. You will receive understanding at some point, answers to the questions you've been waiting for when it comes to career and finance. In the next three to six months, know that you are
You've been trying to be obedient to your own rules and regulations that you apply to yourself in your path. And that's how Sagis are. They have rules and restrictions and they stand by them very strictly. But for some reason, you've ended up with a blindfold over your eyes. It is now time to take the Empress uh, or the Temperance energies and to allow the Temperance Angel to wrap those dark red wings around you to help you to heal and to contemplate on a new direction. To dip your toe in the water and maybe to see what else is on offer in your path until you get clarity. Take off the blindfolds and, and get back towards what you will and will not put up with. If all else fails, it's time to take a risk. And be like the Knight of Swords. Say what needs to be said and then race towards what you know you deserve. And don't take any crap. You will receive the messages you deserve. Spirit keeps saying, you guys are so fulfilling and giving and loving and uh, good to those around you that you've given too much to be sitting in a situation where there's chaos and where you're stuck. That's why they're providing you with playfulness and warrior energies, which are funny energies together. But the warrior energies are going to help pull you through and the playfulness is going to help for you to keep your own, your same uh, inner goodness that Sagis have. You may be feeling invisible now, but know that spirit's going to uh, <laughs> make those around you understand the importance of what you're worth. So in the first week and a half to two weeks, some of you may be worried about your happily ever after, your home life, and what the right choices are to make when it comes to maintaining that happy home life. Take off the blindfolds and do your research. Have the conversations that need to be had and make a decision about which direction you want to go in. Know that justice is in your favor. Therefore, as a major arcana, spirit's going to help you to cut away from things and people and situations that don't bring you balance and contentment. Maybe there were false promises with regards to a job offer that you thought you would love. Spirit's trying to tell you that there will be a new financial or career opportunity that's being blessed for you and to you by the universe. It is coming your way. Some of you may be dealing with a difficult child or someone who's acting like a difficult child. And some of you want to just hop, skip, and jump and take a risk in a new direction. It is in a new direction. Spirit is confirming for you that you will feel like a kid again, that you will feel free, happy, fulfilled, abundant, content. You will be moving towards a new path of fulfillment. In the next two to three weeks, yeah, here we go. Spirit's saying that you're ready to go. In your train, plane, or automobile, you may not know exactly which direction you're heading in, but you know that you're strong enough to get there. You may be up in your head about something when it comes to, well, no kidding, career and finances, but know that there is a new blessing when it comes to career that's going to be something worth celebrating. Some of you are going to talk to a boss or a position, a person in a position of authority, and you may not have received or will not receive what it is you've been waiting for. But Spirit keeps telling you that you're worthy of a position of leadership. You're worthy of owning your own business. You're worthy of making more money than you're working than you're making right now. But what you need to do is be clear with your words. Be fair and just, because I know you guys are, with others, but Tell them you will accept nothing less than this financial position. Continue to look for other opportunities because again, the universe is trying to offer you the Ace of Wands, a new opportunity with many little opportunities attached to it. Opportunities to advance. Opportunities to manifest much better things in your life. Learn from where you've been and for some of you, you'll come to the realization that in order to build something new, you'll have to start on a new path. Somebody may not offer you what it is that you want. Either way, Spirit keeps saying there will be financial independence. So, in the meantime, take great care of yourself and listen to the energies of the High Priestess. She's going to guide you towards an offer 
that is going to be maybe at a distance for some of you. Yeah, you're going to have to come to the realization through maybe some thought that something may need to come to an end when it comes to career and finances. You will receive messages back, but again, you're going to have to be clear about whether or not it's enough for you and be ready to change your path up if it doesn't fulfill you. Yeah, I see some of you really putting an end to a current occupation. In the next four to six weeks, Spirit's saying you have the yes card. Hope, wish, and pray for whatever it is that you want when it comes to a contract, a new business partnership, because Spirit wants to bring that in. I've been feeling that throughout the whole thing. So listen to your intuition when it comes to someone who's not being honest. When it comes to someone who left you a couple swords, but who's going to give more swords to someone else. Hope, wish, and pray on a star with the star card energies. And know again that spirit is bringing in the ace of cups. Overflowing with peace, joy, abundance, prosperity, and love. Great things are heading your way as the wheel of fortune is finally turning in your favor. You will be able to manifest and to give birth to brand new things in your path. As long as you get rid of the energies of the negative people of your past. Wow, this is happening for a lot of people. We have control over our path. We have... Oh my gosh. Spirit just... I split the deck and they said put an end to something so something new can begin. This new path is waiting for you to become... To step into. So, let's move on to love and romance. Dear Lord, and this is the Angel Answers deck by Doreen Virtue. Dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Sagittarius with love and romance energies and messages for September 2017. Thank you. All right. So the card representing your current life path here on Earth at this time is within the next few weeks. There is something that you need to reconsider. Let's clarify. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Sagittarius with clearly defined messages regarding this angel answers reading before us and the Sagittarius's love and romance energies for September 2017. Thank you. All right, so within the next few weeks, you guys are gonna be making decisions Decisions about finances, maybe even decisions about people. Some of you want to have harsh words, but either way, this person's going to walk away and they're going to be unaffected by your harsh words. So reconsider harsh words. Take some time to just work through your thoughts how you're going to change things up in a quiet manner when it comes to love. In your thoughts, some of you have romance on your mind. Spirit's saying that this is there's a new path available to you from the universe overflowing with love for eternity. Some of you within the next few weeks are going back and forth as to whether or not you'd like to get married. Huh. In your foundation, it's time to communicate clearly when it comes to something you'd like to manifest. Know that you can hope, wish, and pray on a star with the star card energies to manifest whatever this is. If it's popping the question or actually planning a, a, a marriage let old things go and reconsider within the next couple weeks how this can make your life much more fulfilling in the recent past you had abundance but this abundance was coming through people who were sneaky Maybe because you had abundance, you had to deal with people who were sneaky. 
And now instead of wasting harsh words on a situation, reconsider things. Within the next few weeks, you will get more clarification about money issues and how to handle them. In your thoughts, some of you want to start a new path in love. If you're single, this could be a new relationship. If you're with someone, it could be an offer of marriage. Communicate clearly about your wishes. In the next couple few weeks, Spirit saying no when it comes to following your intuition in love. Hmm. When it comes to maybe a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, sun, moon, or rising, male or female, Spirit saying hold off for the next couple few weeks. Don't ask or start anything new yet with that person. Now in the next four to six weeks, Spirit saying you have control over manifesting a peaceful resolution. There were some conversations that need to be had or needed to be had. And you're wondering if you should still give a situation another chance or if you should lay down the battle and move on. Communicate clearly about what it is that you want within the next few weeks and how you're going to make it through a difficult situation. Spirit's asking that you be assertive and to know that you have the energies of the strength card to be assertive. There's some sort of communication that needs to take place before you can move forward in a path of love. There will be a peaceful resolution one way or the other, but it's up to you guys to decide if you want to give a situation another chance or not. In your hopes and fears, maybe you're hoping to look for a sign. And that sign is being served with the Wheel of Fortune card. Maybe the sign has to do with money, Maybe the sign has to do with karmic blessings. In the outcome position, wow. Spirit's asking that you guys wait for a minute before going to or through a court situation, maybe going to church and getting married or connecting with a financial institute. So communicate clearly about what you want in the next few weeks. You may want a romantic path or to pop the question or something, but with, if it's with a water sign, you may have to hold off a minute. Be assertive so that you can find a peaceful resolution. When it comes to someone in the past who has been sneaky, this sneaky person is tied to some sort of abundance and you're looking for the sign for the abundance to come and yet you're waiting for decisions to be made. It could be court. It could be for some of you it could be making up after an argument and getting some help. But there could be a peaceful resolution. Now the card overlooking the entire read says, listen to your intuition and trust in spirit that another path is always open to you. Do you want to stay on the path that you're on? Or do you want to move forward? Trust that spirit's got your back when it comes to making sure you have enough finances for you. Know that you'll be okay financially. If someone isn't accepting your love, it is time or maybe time to let a situation go. So again, some of you may have been involved with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising, who isn't accepting your love or who hasn't seemed like they were accepting your love. It's a good time to communicate clearly about romance and what you want. Be assertive and be clear. It, you could give a situation another chance that involves a difficult person who has not been truthful and about abundance or prosperity. 
but uh, there needs to be a peaceful resolution. Look for a sign when it comes to money, fortune, and figure out through a court situation, through therapy, through discussions with someone, what it is you need to learn before you completely walk away. Yes. Um, again, this is leading me back to success. This is leading me back to you guys putting an end to a financial career direction and moving into a more successful direction. If you guys take action with regards to success, you will receive acknowledgement for a job well done. If you guys put, if some of you put an end to a relationship, you will be successful in your path moving forward. And as you take action, you will receive a lot of attention from those around you. So there could be great things for you if some of you have had enough and you want to leave and move forward and get out of a situation where it's been quite a struggle. I almost feel like saying, is it worth the money? Has the situation been worth the money? And is there enough love to get you through whatever a difficult situation involves? There's a lot of communication that needs to take place. Now in a three card summary to my left for further clarification of the Angel Answers deck, if someone's not opening up with their heart, they're not gonna open up with their money. I feel with this card that for some of you, there's a partnership. There's a group of people and someone's not opening up and sharing money. And this is what puts you in a position of the hanged man having to look at things from every perspective. Know that you have the major arcana judgment here to help you to make the right choices as you move forward in your path. Eventually, you're receiving the Ace of Swords, which is going to help you to get to the truth of a situation and to cut away from that which no longer serves you. You could find yourself in a leadership position if you have the strength or use this energies of the strength card to move forward. You can build off of where you've been and become successful in where you're going. In the next couple few weeks, uh, you may come into a situation that is very passionate and exciting, and you may want to race into that situation. You may be excited about a situation, but make sure if you want this situation to last long term, that you're gonna have to build it on a solid foundation. It's gonna have to be something where you're gonna have to slow down and spend a lot of time. It's it's not, a, this person or you are gonna come and go too quickly and the whole thing could fall apart. Maybe that's what some of you want. Maybe some of you just wanna reach out to others, have others reach out back to you so you can feel important about yourself. Some of you might be trying to fill a void. That could be a lesson. So be careful. If this is in love and you're trying to fill a void of sorts by rushing into a passionate love connection, be careful. Listen for a new money offer. I do believe you will hear of one. Try not to allow yourself to stay up at night because of situations involving children or someone or something from your past. Some of you may be receiving a message from an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, who's going to get you down. Or you've been down and will be down in the next couple few weeks because of a child that has caused a message you're going to hear about a child or connected to a child. And it's going to cause something intense to take place. Either way, Spirit's still trying to offer you this new beautiful blessing when it comes to career and finance and or a passionate new connection, a love connection. This could also be taking a risk in marriage 
And for some of you, if you're worried about a difficult child, know that spirit has heard your wishes and they're gonna help for you to bring a wish come true. Be careful because there's someone around you who is tied to substances and or unhealthy choices or situations and they're presenting themselves in a way where you can't tell that they are, but they are, okay? Justice is going to turn in your favor and you're going to be released from a difficult situation. You're going to be able to step into a new path financially and you're going to become the boss of your kingdom once again. If you feel like you've lost control, you're going to maintain or regain control. In the next four to six weeks, a money offer is going to come in that you've really been waiting for. Therefore, you will be able to leave someone or something in the past. You will be able to step into a new direction concerning finances. And it could very well be because you put your foot down and became very clear with someone about what you will and will not accept. It could also be because you put a lot of thought into a situation connected to an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And it's through this thinking that you're going to find the clarity you've been waiting for. And this is going to allow you to manifest or give birth to a new exciting path. For some of you, maybe with the same element, fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. For some of you who have been in a difficult situation where it's been interrupted by an air sign, there could be a refreshing love offer between the two of you. And or if you're leaving something behind, a new love offer. Yeah, some of you are leaving troubled waters behind and as you move forward, you run into a new love offer. You may not be sure about where you're going, but the High Priestess is trying to lead you into a new path of fulfillment. For some of you, a lot of this September 2017 will have to do with forgiveness of one situation and big happy changes when it comes to another. So it's all about letting go and forgiving someone or something and then big happy changes that I don't even think you guys have to work hard to go towards. I feel like Spirit is bringing that directly to you. Now to close your reading, and I know we've gone a little bit over for you guys, there are a lot of big messages, strong, strong energies. Uh, a lot of big things are going to take place in the month of September. Uh, they may seem scary, but you know that Spirit's got your back. They're trying to guide you in the right direction. All right, so for the first week and a half to two weeks, you're receiving Angel Vanessa. And Angel Vanessa is saying, to make your decision, ask yourself, which way brings me closer to my divine purpose and which way takes me away from it? Okay, something to think about. In the next two to three weeks, you've got Adriana, and she is leading you toward the answer to your prayers. Please listen to and follow the steps that she is communicating through your intuition, your thoughts, and your dreams. In your outcome position in the next four to six weeks, and I know this is going past September, but some energies do. You've got Angel Crystal who is saying, have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you cannot yet see. On the bottom of the deck is Archangel Michael saying, I am with you, giving you the courage to make the life changes that will help you to work on your divine life purpose. And your divine life purpose is to find balance, peace, joy, contentment, happiness, and love, fulfillment, prosperity, but most of all, joy. All right, and I do feel like you guys are gonna be guided in the right direction uh, by spirit to find that contentment once again that some of you have been missing for a very long time. If you'd like a personal reading, I'm available at josiek42 at gmail.com. Like and subscribe, and thank you for stopping by. Take care, and God bless.